Hello my Funko Warriors! We have been challenged to the Funko Name Game Challenge. So I'm back again with another video here at Jerry's Got Pops. And I hope you all are ready for this because we're going to do one Funko Pop for the first letter of... Er, one Funko Pop for each letter in my name. So Jerry's Got Pops, we will do one Funko Pop for each letter. So, uh, you know, J is the first letter. So we'll do a Funko Pop that starts with the letter J, so on and so forth. I have been challenged by my good friend, Collector Lampsey. If you don't already follow Collector Lampsey, make sure to go check him out. I will put all of his links down in the description down below so that you can go see his video as well. Um, it's really awesome that he challenged me to do this, and honestly, I haven't gotten on YouTube in a minute. So this is just a good way to kind of jump back in and get on YouTube and do a little bit of that. So uh, let's get right into this, guys. Let's do one Funko Pop for each letter in my name, Jerry's Got Pops. Now, before I get into all of that, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe here on this video. That helps my video out. It helps my YouTube channel to be able to grow. You can also go follow me over on Instagram at Jerry's Got Pops. That's the best way to stay connected with me. I'm super active over there. So if you want to get engaged, if you want to chat with me, go over there to at Jerry's Got Pops. It's the best place to get into it. Now let's get right into this Funko Name Game Challenge. This has been going around in the community. I've seen a couple other of my friends, people I follow, post this challenge. And all it is is you take each letter in your name. So uh, for me, J-E-R-R-Y-S, da 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 And you pick a Funko Pop that actually starts with that letter. So each letter in your name, you pick a Funko Pop that goes with it. It just kind of helps to show off how awesome uh, everyone's collections are. You just get to see kind of a peek into people's collections. You get to see a couple different pieces, so on and so forth. So I've actually gone all out on this. Uh, Lampsy, I know, kind of cheated. He didn't do one for Collector. Uh, he just did Lampsy. So I was thinking about just doing it for Jerry. But then I was like, no, I haven't been on here in a minute. Let's show the world more of my collection. We're going to do the full name, Jerry's Got Pop. So I have a pop for each letter in that full name, Jerry's Got Pop. So We'll go through it one at a time. They're all down here on the floor. So uh, I hope it's not too like uh, like awkward, and, like reaching down here and grabbing them. And honestly, like I think about spelling my name each time I grab one as well. But we'll go quick. We'll just go through them, see which pops I picked out and why I picked these pops out. And you guys can get a better look at uh, some of my pops in my collection that you maybe haven't seen before, or maybe you have seen them. Uh, as you can see, I have a lot of Funko Pops. So uh, maybe you have seen them. I don't know. Maybe if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably already seen pictures of these. I'm not sure. I tried to pick a couple random ones. Tried to pick some common, some exclusives, some more rare ones. So we'll try to get into this and see what we've got. So the first letter in my name is J for Jerry. And for J, I picked out the three-hole punch Jim Halpert from The Office. This is probably one of my favorite Funko Pops from The Office. And uh, I think it's one of the more expensive ones, if I'm not wrong. Uh, so this one's really cool. It is a Funko Shop exclusive. I was able to get this when it actually released on the Funko Shop. I ordered it directly from the Funko Shop. It's in online for like 10 minutes. I know that its value has gone up really high now, uh, mainly because it, it, you know, that was if you didn't get it during those 10 minutes, you didn't get it, and that was really it. That was the only way you were able to get it. Uh, the one problem with mine is you might be able to see this, uh, but I've got some damage up there in the corner, and it's because my cat actually chewed on this pop. Uh, you know, she was still a little baby kitty when I got this pop and I left it on the floor and she got a hold of it and she chewed on Jim Halpert's corner. So I've got some fun cat damage on my Jim Halpert that other people do not have. But yes, three hole punch Jim. If you didn't know, I'm a big fan of The Office. I watched it for the first time actually just a little over a year ago. Um, and honestly, I fell in love with the show. I thought it was an awesome show. I watched all the show all the way through. Really enjoyed it and have collected most of the Funko Pops as well. Okay, second letter in my name is E. So for E, we picked an anime Funko Pop. We picked the Ava Unit 01 Bloody Variant for AE. So this was a AE, which I believe stands for Alliance Entertainment exclusive. Um, this was an Alliance Entertainment exclusive. It is a six inch Funko Pop and it is just a bloody variant of the common. You can see the blood there. Um, but yes, it is just a bloody variant of the common, but it is a really popular uh, anime series. So if you haven't seen it, Neon Genesis Evangelion, very popular anime series, one from my childhood, as well as probably a lot of people's childhood, which is kind of weird because it's really not made for kids, but uh, that doesn't really matter uh, because, you know, I watched it when I was a kid and then you kind of understand it when you're an adult, right? For those of you that have seen it, you kind of understand it when you're an adult, but uh, a lot of nostalgia that comes out of this series. Had to pick up AV Unit 01 uh, for E in my name game challenge. So I have two R's, so I decided to go with rivals here and not like literal rivals but i went with like rival companies so i picked one dc and one marvel funko pop 
for the two R's of my name. So here's what we've got. We've got Rhino and Raish Al Ghul. Rhino was a Marvel Collector Core exclusive, and Raish Al Ghul was uh, exclusive to Entertainment Earth, but he was with San Diego Comic-Con last year, 2020. These are two super cool pops, if you don't have either of these. And yeah, some people say Raz Al Ghul, Raish Al Ghul, however you say it. I don't care. Um, but yes, mainly a villain of the Batman, which is actually why you see there they've got Batman on the back. And Rhino, obviously a villain of Spider-Man, two very iconic uh, villains. Rhino and Ra's al Ghul, two exclusive uh, hero pops right here, villain pops really. But yes, I'm big into Marvel and DC. If you didn't know, I like both companies. I'm not a one company type of person. I am a little partial to DC, don't kill me. I do like DC a little bit better, especially when it comes to comic books. But, that's okay. Uh, I still love Marvel as well. Marvel is near and dear to me as well. So, Rhino and Rachel Ghoul for R and R and Jerry. For Y, we have Yusuke Urameshi from Yu Yu Hakusho. One of my favorite animes legitimately of all time. This is like, when people ask me, oh Jerry, what's your favorite or what's your top three anime of all time? Yu Yu Hakusho is always in my top three. It is an anime that I grew up with. I used to watch it on Toonami, I watched it on Adult Swim, I used to wake up before I am to literally record it on VHS tape so I could watch it the next morning. Uh, so I had to put Yusuke in my name game challenge. And I don't have the box out because the box is in my closet over there. Um, yeah, I know, I have them on display out of box right now. I have all the boxes in the closet. I didn't want to dig it out. But I'll put the box on screen so you know it does start with a Y. His name does start with a Y. But yes, Yusuke Urameshi from Yu Yu Hakusho for my Y of Jerry. All right, so for the S in Jerry's Got Pops, I decided to go with a slightly more rare anime pop. Again, if you don't know, a lot of my collection is anime Funko Pops. I'm really focused on anime. It's one of my, um, I mean, honestly, it's just one of my favorite things. I've been watching anime since I was a little kid. So I've seen a ton and ton of anime, so I collect a lot of anime things, whether that's manga, uh, you know, figures, statues, whatever it might be. Um, I have a lot of Funko Pops, obviously related to anime. So the S in my name goes to Soul from Soul Eater. So there we go. This is Soul from Soul Eater. He's an older pop. They did release a lot of new Soul Eater pops pretty recently, actually. So, uh, you know, some of the, the later characters came out more recently, but this is an older one. It was from the initial wave, as you can see there. Number 79 in the animation line. So it is kind of an old school pop. Um, I bought this way back when for close to retail. I don't think I bought it for exactly retail, maybe a little over, like 20 or 25 bucks, something like that. Um, but I'm really happy with it. It's it's definitely done well. Um, but, uh, you know, I grew up watching Soul Eater. Soul Eater was another anime from my childhood. Um, you know, it must have come out when I was in, like, middle school or something like that. Um, so, kept up with the show. Had to get the pops. All right, so we're through Jerry's. Now we have to do Got. So Jerry's Got Pops, right? So G in Got. So that's the first character. What do I have for G in Got? I had to do the Green Lantern. Yes, the Green Lantern is legitimately my favorite superhero of all time. So DC, Marvel, doesn't matter. Green Lantern is my favorite. I much prefer Hal Jordan or Simon Baz. Uh, those are two of my favorite Green Lanterns. If you didn't know, that's where my tattoo comes from, is it's the same tattoo that Simon Baz has in the comic books. Um, and so he's sort of like an idol or icon to me. So I really like Simon Baz. But I really thought this Green Lantern pop was great. It represents G and Jerry's got pop. So Green Lantern, I'm a huge Green Lantern fan. Had to get a Green Lantern in there. Next, we've got the O in Got, and this was kind of hard, actually. It was kind of hard to find O pops, but I decided to go with Orochimaru from Naruto. Like a, uh, like with Yusuke, I had him out of box, so I didn't want to dig the box out of the closet. But obviously, Naruto, one of those shows that when you're in middle school, you have to run down the hallways like a Naruto run. No, you just... Naruto is just too iconic. Like, it doesn't really matter if you were into anime at the time. You may have probably watched Naruto. Orochimaru is one of the main villains from the original Naruto series. So... Had to pick Orochimaru for the O in Got. Next is the T in Got. So for T, I picked Troy Barnes from Community. So if you didn't know, I love uh, the TV show Community. It's one of the first sitcoms that just like really like pulled me in and made me like really enjoy the sitcom format. And it's just so absurd. It's so crazy. It's so awesome. I have to have. I bought this whole set right when it first came out. I have doubles of the whole set actually because I just enjoy the show so much. I like to have seconds. One are in protectors. One are on display. Um, and so Troy Barnes from Community, one of the best characters from the show, played by Donald Glover. Awesome character. Awesome actor. Very funny character. 
if you don't know Troy, then yeah. And Troy and Abed in the morning. All right, so we got through got, and Jerry's got pops. So that just leaves four letters. <laughs> we are getting through this, guys. Let's get through it. Pops, so P-O-P-S. So for the first P in pops, I've got Pikachu. <laughs> I, I wanted to make sure I included a Pokemon on this list because Pokemon is just a huge part of my journey and you know growing up with Pokemon obviously but I wanted to throw in the New York Comic Con exclusive official exclusive so this is the con sticker I was able to win the lottery for New York Comic Con in 2020 so I was able to get the official con stickers for all the pops that I bought from that con which was really awesome uh, and yeah so I wanted to show off one of the con stickers and I wanted to show off one of uh, the Pokemon for this list so Flock Pikachu from New York Comic Con 2020 there you go next is the second O again pretty difficult but uh, when I had to look towards anime for another O oh, that I mean I don't know if I have any other characters that start with the letter O that aren't from anime so I decided to go with one of my favorite pops of 2020 which is Obelisk the Tormentor from Yu-Gi-Oh and if you don't know this is one of the Egyptian god monsters in the Yu-Gi-Oh uh, mythos lore whatever you want to call it so whether you watched the anime or played the card game or you did both like I did uh, then you probably know Oblis the Tormentor. He's an awesome design. One of my favorite designs of 2020 when it comes to Bunko Pops at all. So I had to include Oblis on this list. So from the second O, the second O in the total part of my name, but the first O in Pops, had to include Oblis the Tormentor. Second P in Pops. This one, I went with the New York Comic Con 2019 Piccolo. So this is him in sort of the Lotus position. It's super cool pop. And I think it kind of went a little under the radar in my opinion. I don't think that it's done really well on the secondary market or anything like that, but it's definitely one of the cooler pops from that convention, in my opinion. And just overall, it's the best. I, I, it's one of the few Piccolo pops that I actually have in my collection because to me, this is sort of a good representation of Piccolo as a character. I love that he's got, you know, the head wrap and that on and the pose. I prefer the dynamic poses over the more stagnant poses, so I like to have a good dynamic pose for most characters. And obviously, grew up on Dragon Ball, grew up on Dragon Ball Z. Piccolo's an OG. If you don't know Piccolo, you don't. I mean, that's whack, yo. So Piccolo. And for the last letter in my name, yes, I've made it to the end. Um, thank you for sticking with me if you've made it this far. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe on this video if you have made it this far. Let's get into the last letter of my name. Show off the last one. And for this one, I wanted to kind of go big. This is the last letter of my name, but also finding an S, right? So Jerry's got pop. So the last S, we are going to show off Samurai Jack in the two pack with Aku. So they haven't made a solo Samurai Jack Funko Pop yet, but they did make him in this two pack with Aku. So Samurai Jack is the last S in my name. And this was a New York Comic Con 2019 exclusive. I was able to secure this directly from the Funko shop during that release, which again, that just makes me really happy, like being able to get stuff for retail and just be able to haul onto it and watch as it kind of goes up in value or the value goes up on things like this. So uh, super cool to have this in my collection and I'm not going to be letting it go anytime soon. I love the Cartoon Network Funko Pops. I love what they've done with Jack. I have Scaramouche as well. I have the Powerpuff Girls, uh, Johnny Bravo, Dexter. I was able to get all those for really good price. And yeah, I, I'm going to be holding on this for a long time. Samurai Jack is a huge part of my childhood. Huge piece of nostalgia. So the last S in my name goes to Samurai Jack. Thank you so much to anyone who stuck with me through my Funko Name Game Challenge. And thank you to Collector Lampsy for nominating for the, me for this Name Game Challenge. Because... I haven't really done a video in a minute, and I thought this would be a lot of fun because he challenged me, and, you know, I thought I'd rise to the occasion. You know, I thought I'd rise to the occasion, Lampsy, and kind of match you and say, hey, okay, I did all my name, full name, Jerry's Got Pops. I'll challenge a couple people as well. I think you're supposed to challenge three people is what I've been told. So I'm going to challenge uh, some of my uh, good friends in the collecting community. We'll see if they actually do it. I'm not sure. So first, I'm going to challenge... Dark Sage Collections, Chase the Dark Sage. I'm going to challenge you to do the Funko Name Game Challenge. Chase is a great friend of mine. Um, he probably won't do this. He might. I have no idea. But I'll challenge you to do it. Dark Sage, uh, let's see if you can come to the occasion and do the Funko Name Game Challenge. I'm also going to shout out Draco. Um, so Draco's another collector that's kind of local to me. So I want to uh, challenge him, throw it his way, and say, Hey, Draco, if you can, do the Funko Name Game Challenge. It's a lot of fun. Uh, you just, you know, do what I just did. <laughs> exactly. So, uh, Draco, if you want to do that, uh, I'm going to challenge you as well. Um, and then for my third person I'm going to challenge, I've got to challenge my homie at Awakened Sage. The Awakened Sage. He's uh, mainly doing more Twitch stuff now and, like, video games and stuff. But I'm going to challenge him to do the Funko Name Game Challenge as well. I think he probably has enough pops to do 
most of his name, but we shall see. So Awaken Sage, Draco, uh, Chase the Dark Sage, you guys are challenged to do the name game challenge next from the man, Jerry's Got Pops himself. So we have reached the end. As always, you can like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you like. I'm just trying to share my passion for collecting with the world. So this is Jerry's Got Pops, signing off.